So from time to time you may get a document in Microsoft Word format. Sometimes people just don't get that this is not a universal format. You get docs from uh, teachers and parents at schools. You get them from organizations. You get them from all over the place. People that assume because their computer came with Microsoft Word or they got it a long time ago that everybody has Microsoft Word. Even some people on Windows don't have Microsoft Word. But you can still view Word documents and even edit them on your Mac with some software that comes installed on your Mac already or is just free. So let's take a look. Here I have some sample Word documents. The first one is a pretty simple text document. I'm going to open it up. I do have Microsoft Word so this is what it looks like in Microsoft Word. Now let's say I don't have Word. Well the first way I could view this is just by simply using Quick Look. That's just selecting the file and hitting Spacebar. And this is what I get here in Quick Look. It's not exactly the same at all. It changes the formatting a lot. But if there's just spacing information and there are plenty of times when we get like three paragraphs of plain text in a Microsoft Word document, why didn't they just include this in the email's text? I don't know. But it comes in Microsoft Word format and you can read it here using just Quick Look. Now at the same time you could also go in the Finder. I'm going to create a new Finder window here and go to Desktop and there's the Word doc. And if I'm viewing say in Column View I'll see the preview here on the right side. So you do see it there as well. But Quick Look gives you a nice window version of that and you can scroll through it to see what's there. Now another way you could view is to open with Preview. So you could drag and drop it onto Preview. You could use File Open in Preview. I'm going to Control click on it and choose Open with Preview. And then Preview allows me to view the document and I can't do much more with it but it is nice to have it open in an actual application here. I can actually export it as PDF so if I want to pass it along perhaps I could pass it along in a good format rather than one people may not be able to access. Um, and another way to do it is to open with TextEdit. Now TextEdit doesn't have the ability to display graphics and layout and stuff like uh, Preview does so it's a lot more basic. The image isn't even included that, that's in this document. But it is editable text. So now I can maybe clean this up and pass it along in a standard format. Text edit uses either plain text or rich text format which can be uh, used on any machine. So if you get a few paragraphs of text uh, without any layout or anything then text edit is a good option. Now of course the heavy hitter is to open it up in Pages. If you open it up in Pages it's going to be able to do a lot of what Word can do. So you can end up with a document that looks very similar. You get a little warning there that things may look different but in the case of this document it actually looks very much like the Word document. There's not that much that changes in here. So if you need to actually edit the document you don't have Word at all this is probably your best bet. It may make some changes but at least now you have a real document. You can make changes to it. You can insert images. You can move layout around. And when you're done you can actually export it back to Word format. So that's a huge advantage for Pages. Now let's take a look at how these other documents fare. With this document here I'm going to open it up in Word. You can see here it's got lots of images and layout and things like that. So let's compare that to Quick Look. Press the space bar you can see it really messes up a lot of it. But some of it's okay. So at least you can see the images and you can see some of the text. Opening it up in text edit of course is going to just give me some plain text and it's actually going to kind of break things up. Trying to do a little bit with the table layout that's inside there. But you can get to the text. So if that was what you wanted then text edit will accomplish that. If you open it in pages It's going to come pretty close. You can see how it even gets the top right. It really looks pretty good. You can kind of continue working on the document here in Pages. Now let's take a look at this resume here. So this looks great in Word. If I were to use the space bar to bring up a quick look you can see it breaks it a lot. Text edit is going to look pretty bad. But I can still get to some of the text. Pages, will actually make it look pretty nice. And notice this warnings box here that we've been getting. This will give you some idea of what might have changed. 
So you can see that there's some objects and table cells that are removed. Uh, there's a font that's missing. Um, there are some headers and footers and shapes and things that aren't there. Uh, form components. So there's a bunch of stuff. But despite all that, this doesn't look too much different from this. You can get the general idea. Now, of course, the ultimate way to view a Word document is to actually use Microsoft Word. And you can, of course, get Word for Mac. There's still some people on Mac that don't realize this, but this has always been true, or at least true for decades. Uh, and you can actually find it in the App Store. You go to the App Store now, and you can actually find Microsoft Word there. Now, it looks like it's free. It's not free. Uh, now, Microsoft Word uses a subscription model. So you need to actually buy a subscription. It's an annual subscription and that's how Microsoft and Adobe and lots of other companies sell software based on an annual subscription and you get all the updates automatically for free. So you do have uh, the ability, and especially if you're using this professionally, then you should probably spend the money to get Microsoft Office and to get Word and Excel and everything uh, as um, the real apps on your Mac and then you can open them up as you need. There are other ways to do this as well. There are other Office apps uh, like OpenOffice for instance. Um, there's also Google Docs. You can upload a Word document to Google Docs and view it in Google Docs. You have the same kind of issues there. It's not perfect. It's not recreating layouts and things like that uh, perfectly. But if you use Google Docs a lot that may be an option is to simply bring those in to Google Docs and open them up on the web app for uh, the word processor in Google Docs.